The Innovation Lab at Ames Research Center is home to NASA's Synthetic Biology Initiative. Assembled in collaboration with researchers at the university-affiliated research center, the Innovation Lab houses a wide range of state-of-the-art equipment to support all aspects of synthetic biology research. NASA created the Innovation Lab because NASA realized that the principles of sustainability and long-duration space flights kind of go hand in hand. You have to create cyclical systems where you're generating useful inputs from waste outputs. So the lab has many capabilities. We wanted to take as many functions and install them into the lab as possible, giving researchers as much scientific freedom as possible. We have everything from your standard wet lab tools to tools that most researchers don't have access to. We have the analytical chemistry section. We have an imaging section where we're able to take various fluorescent, luminescent, spectrophotometric measurements. And in addition, we also have fermentation um, capabilities where we're able to take the constructs that we generate and grow them up to produce the targets of interest. Because the Innovation Lab has such a wide array of capabilities, we're able to handle a broad array of scientific questions, like addressing questions in sustainability, fuel research, drug discovery, protein engineering, and genetic engineering. We have postdoctoral candidates working on light-activated proteins. We have scientists working on regenerative membranes for the ISS, as well as long-duration space flights, which then can also be used in applications on Earth. In addition to the Innovation Lab, York researchers are also collaborating with NASA to begin development on an open source database with genomics, transcriptomics, and protonomics data. This new database project, called GeneLab, will be unique in that it will be the first open source database to also include relevant metadata for space flight experiments. The GeneLab project is a database project. It goes hand in hand with synthetic biology and genomics because what GeneLab is trying to do is compile genomic data from spaceflight experiments. What GeneLab hopes to do is to take flight data with the microgravity aspect and the high radiation aspect and analyze the changes in uh, organism's genome. So by comparing the changes from microgravity and high, U high radiation, we're able to study the effects of microgravity on DNA. A limiting factor to long-duration spaceflight at the moment is our understanding of how biology behaves in space, the effects of microgravity and high radiation. One goal of GeneLab is to better study the effects of microgravity and high radiation to better understand how we can prepare our life support systems to accommodate long-duration spaceflight. The Innovation Lab and Gene Lab projects are two important multidisciplinary initiatives at NASA that will help pave the way for wide-ranging advancements in genomics and synthetic biology. These advancements, in turn, will not only enable humans to safely stay in space longer, but will also facilitate medical advancements here on Earth, improving the quality of life for everyone.